steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. so much you're ready that everything we gave you, you just ran with it. And so that was really encouraging to me, just, you know, your convictions and how much, every time I see you, uh, you're reading <laughs> every time. It's amazing. And uh, just keep it up, man. Keep that heart. Keep that heart that you want to learn and want to grow. Mm-hmm. You're going to do great. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say, I'll share too, Trevor. I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I remember my freshman year in college, uh, and not here, but uh, mm-hmm. the SEC <laughs> programs. <laughs> um, but um, you know, and and it's it's a it was a crazy year, um, ups and downs, mostly ups, and uh, but definitely, um, you know, that something about your freshman year, it's like you, you you really you really have to kind of make, make figure out like what you believe, what your convictions are, and, and to see you really have that, and when so many freshmen come in and just throw all that away. Um, I think it's been really, really cool to see you came in and, and did the opposite. You, you went after it even more, and um, and I think um, I think certainly had a great foundation laid growing up, 
and I think to see you now kind of coming in to your own, like just really making it your own, um, it is awesome to see and to see you just devouring the Bible like that. And, uh, I can't wait to see, you know, with everybody that gets baptized, you know, Ben and Cody and Gerard, it's like everybody, and we can look back to last school year, some of the other faces here, and it's like, you kind of wonder what, what are they going to bring to the table, like as the months go along and the years go along, and, you know, I just, I know you're going to bring a lot, you know, when we're, yeah. when you graduate from here or whatever, if you, you say you might take my job whenever you graduate from here. Um, but, you know, whether you do that or whatever you do, um, you know, I know that, that you're going to give so much because you, you, you're, you're just naturally a very encouraging, joyful, you just bring, really bring a lot of light into the room when you, when you walk into the room. And, um, so I, I just look forward to seeing what God is going to do with you now that you're really going to just go. 100%. I think, yep. you know, uh, it's just going to be, it's going to be awesome. So I'm real happy for you, man. Love you a lot. I'm looking forward to just keep continuing to get to know you. So, anybody else would like to, besides Sammy, uh, he's already been sharing as we're all sharing. So, I want to give you guys a perspective of how I know Trevor. You guys have known Trevor for maybe a month, maybe a month. Months? No, not, a month, not even. A month and a half. <laughs> Trevor has a, he has humbled me since he was about three in regards to, he has an old soul in him. He is, he is very wise and he carries with him a, a sense of a, a spiritual soul within him. And he has always been teaching me more than I taught him throughout his entire life. One example I'm going to give, Trevor remembers, he was raised at Willow Creek mm -hmm. Community Church up north. Some of you will know it, some of you won't. But um, we were in the middle of a basketball game for a Christian tournament. And we had won our first game, so we had graduated. I don't look at my height, you would say, how did you win any basketball? <laughs> <laughs> we actually did win one game. But uh, we had gone to the next round, and we were playing against a, um, a, it was a father-son tournament playing against a very aggressive father and son, and he didn't know, you know, there was something different going on here. I turned to Trevor, we were leaving at the time, and I said, Trev, what, what do you think is going on here? What should we do? And he said, let them win. And I was like, you positive? You know, why are you coming to this? He's like, they want it. It's more important to them. I, I'm just playing basketball with my he said that when he was, what, seven? I don't know. He was I about seven years old. <laughs> That's how Trevor is. There's not many seven-year-olds seven that would say, let someone else win. That's not a, a male type A nature. But he, on that day, he taught me, and hopefully, I'm sure you guys are influencing him, and hopefully he'll influence you at least in that small way. That's the trouble I love. And I'm proud of you, brother. Thank you. We cry. Our family, we cry. I cry. We cry. We all cry. We read birthday cards and cry. It's true. We're crying. It's like literally we cry. They're trying to make it sappy. It works. It works. But thanks for all coming out, yeah. too. Ha, ha, ha.